all right ladies and gentlemen we have the new co-op path of friendship so we're just gonna hop right in and see what it is also limit break requests in about a day let's go <laughs> all right so it's going to be dropping the a so basically tomorrow at reset and it looks like we have a limited number of reward of tries with limited number of rewards we get droplets link slot potions and super link slot potions so I believe that this is a quest meant for super old characters, basically your favorite character. You could probably pull up this with Danga Ichigo or Mugetsu, not even Max Turn Seven, and you might still be able to beat this. But well, you will obviously have to see. I don't believe I'll be able to stream it. From what I believe, my work skills is kind of iffy, so that is unfortunate. But uh. Various character power-up materials and friend points are available, and there's an airplane, love that. Co-op quest path of friendship power-up items such as the droplets required for characters after release, and the link slot potions and super link slot potions required for link slots can be acquired up to five times per day. Okay, so you get five runs per day. It's essentially like the single-player IZ and IT, or just IT in general, and like the scroll quest. Uh... Players who have the beginner's mark can get their hands on these items up to 50. That's actually really good because my, I, I guess I don't have the beginner mark anymore, but beginners. So this is 100% meant for new players to hop in, join people, and just get an insane amount of like materials. Hopefully it's not like you get as much as a regular run, like how you would get like 40 on average about if you don't have the super link slot character, you get like 40 potions. But still, like 40 times 15, that's 400 times an extra uh, with an extra 200. So that's like 600 potions. And like 15 tickets? I mean, it's not bad. Uh, get as many items as you can and power up your favorite characters. Clearing the path of friendship will net you friend points. And if you clear the quest with a friend, you will be awarded double the amount. Oh, okay, so you get more friend points. And honestly, by the way, if you're new to the game, friend points and the cons bonanza event area is really good. Genuinely, the friend points are actually really good and really worth summoning, or not summoning, but like really worth using. You get basically every item in the game. You get brushes, scrolls, droplets, potions, uh, link slot potions, all that stuff. So make sure to claim all that. Furthermore, characters, soul traits, skills, and accessories that boost the amount of items or coins dropped will not affect the amount of loot you can receive from this quest. So you can use whichever character you want. Okay. So you don't need to bring a potion character. It would be nice if it would increase it, to be honest, but I understand why they're doing this, so that way you can't gatekeep and say only join with potion characters, only join with droplet characters. This is meant for new players. I have to imagine this isn't going to be meant for veterans or people who have thousands of potions sitting around, i.e. me, other YouTubers, you know, Aaron Yarrow, people like that, you know, who just have like 100,000, just chilling, just chilling easily chilling this is meant for people who are struggling and for people who are you know just looking to get their first character to t20 super easily is what i imagine and you can play around with your favorite character which is probably what the incentive is for veterans to be honest put together a team of your favorite characters invite a friend and clear the path of friendship so the rewards is character power up items can be required from this quest five times per day players with the beginner marking require these rewards 15 per day this quest can still be attempted after reaching this limit. However, only friend points. You can farm friend points. Okay. Can be acquired for clearing it. This can be done as many times as you wish. That is actually really cool. So you can still help out your buddy. Like, so let's say you have a new beginner buddy that you brought into the game. You're a veteran, so you won't have the bonus. You can do it 15 times a day with your buddy. They get the potions, but you still get friend rewards. That's actually really, really good, to be honest. You can confirm how many more times you can clear the quest for item rewards when selecting this quest on the co-op quest screen. And then the friend uh, points. You can earn friend points by clearing this quest. Furthermore, if you clear this quest with a friend, including your team, you'll be rewarded even more friend points. So you get 10 by yourself, and then a 10 of friend points with a friend is 20. So you get 50 friend points. Okay. Uh, if what I'm gathering, it actually only gives 50 to 100 friend points. That's actually kind of pathetic, but either way. Increase drop skills and accessories. Soul trade skills and accessories that increase the amount of items or coins that drop on the quest will not have the effect. Okay, so this is all the exact same stuff from before, but just with images. <laughs> so it will not affect it. So ineffective soul trade skills and accessory effects. Increase droplet drop, increase droplets, yada yada yada. Increase super link slot, increase crystal jewel, and increase coin drop. 
I think that increased coin drop should be fine, but I mean, I guess so that people would still probably gatekeep. Uh, but attainable power up item boost, literally just droplets, potions, and super potions. Honestly, it looks pretty good. To be honest, for what it is, obviously we'll have to see what it actually is in game. I'm kind of curious if it'll be somewhat difficult at all because, like, I have to imagine this is literally just for new players. Like, I I don't imagine this will be a lot of rewards. I imagine it'll be quite whatever. So veterans will probably end up dropping it fairly early on. To be honest, just like how when they first implemented the newbie rewards and you could get like five star tickets or whatever. People were in spamming that like only new players, only new players, only new players. And after like about a week or two, it kind of just stopped being a thing. I assume that that's what's going to happen with this. But with this, at least it happens every single day. So there's still an incentive to play. And especially if you, if you have a friend, you can join them and they can farm up super links on potions and stuff. I really wish what they would have done is newer players would have gotten like a 10 times boost. Okay, so let's say each run gives 100 potions obviously i doubt it will but let's just say 100 potions so they do 15 potions you know they, they, they do 15 runs they get like i don't even know the math honestly like 1500 potions in their 15 runs like per thing or maybe you know a bit different because these ones are a bit more so like maybe 3000 of these 1500 of these and that's per day and then like i don't know 2000 droplets i guess that would be really good for new players. So you farm it every single day and it would get them used to like farming items. It would get them used to link slotting their characters. And then obviously once they lose that bonus of 60 days or whatever, the new player bonus, then it goes down to like the, what the regular amount of rewards are. I just, I just think that new players should have an, an increased amount in every single drop in the entire game for a, a certain amount of period of time in these kind of gacha games, especially that are like really old. Like, for example, the other game I used to play, Grand Cross, I think they should double every single item in the game that newer players got, except for, you know, obviously the summon currency. So in this game, potions, scrolls, brushes, etc., etc., I think should be times two for like 30 days or something so that way you have a big boost a, a, a big boost and it, it's easier to sort of catch up especially if you know what you're doing you have a huge advantage and have a chance to catch up obviously it's not summoning advantage it's still just like okay i can get a bunch of potions really fast and try to catch up to the people who are already end game just in my opinion but let me know down below are you guys excited for the new mode i'm actually looking quite forward to it maybe we can stream it on uh stream you know play through it uh will probably be late wednesday night uh, i believe i do end up working a morning shift that day so that's very unfortunate but either way hopefully you guys enjoy hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day and comment down below what you guys think take care and peace out